You are looking for an easy way to understand what filter context is. In this video, I will give you a short and clear explanation how it works, which hopefully helps you. Here is a dashboard with the top 1000 movies by IMDb ratings. You can see some slicers, then we have some visuals by decades, a matrix rating by genre, and the matrix top 10 movies. This one is a bit tricky because, for example, the 10th movie has a rating of 8.8 .8, and it shows all the movies having an 8.8 .8 rating, so it's more than 10. And we have a movie counter in the right bottom corner. The data model is very simple. We have one fact table with all the information in it. And we have another table for the genre because a movie usually have more than one genre. So we use this for the slicer and also for the rating by genre visual. The filter context doesn't apply to one single table, but to the whole data model. It follows the direction of the relationship and it only propagates in that direction. Here the relationship goes in both directions, meaning it's a bidirectional relationship and the filtering goes in both directions. Filter context is the environment of the values in your dashboard. Every single value in every visual is calculated separately. And each of these values are calculated in an evaluation context, which consists on one side the filter context and on the other the row context. Filter elements can be a filter in the filter pane or a slicer or the visual itself or other visuals as well. It doesn't matter which element is filtered, you can view filter context as a whole, a bundle of all the filters available in the report. You can also filter with DEX functions such as filter or you can modify filters by calculate but they are not going to be discussed in this video. As an example we can take the number of the movies. Here we have the movie counter which is a simple count rows function. In the IMDB 1000 data table we have 1000 movie titles. Let's filter the model. I select the director. And now you can see that the movie counter dropped to 9. Executes the same calculation but on a different table. Here is a simplified table of the top 1000 movies. And what happens is the directors are filtered. You can see that 9 movies left. And the same calculation happens but only on these 9 movies. Let's select the genre. The number drops down to 4. As you can see, the visual filters all other visuals. The calculation is executed only on the filtered table. We can also filter the rating, movies below 8.4. In the data table, the rating is from 1 to 100, so let's put 84. And the number goes down to 2. The calculation is the same, but it happens on the filtered data table. All these filters we set bundled together form the filter context of the model. The other part of the context evaluation besides filter context is the row context. For the video about the row context, click here. I hope this video helped and if you want to see similar videos in the future, hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time.